The first time we picked up a falc and held it in our hands, our initial thoughts were that it not only looked and felt great, but it seemed to be a very workable disc that could benefit a variety of skill levels. Is it the workable fairway driver that Cast Blast fans have been looking for? Well, let's take a look. Salut bonjour and welcome to Just Disc, your informative disc golf channel. As you know, today we're looking at the Castaplast Falc, which is said to be an understable fairway driver with the perfect amount of speed, glide, and accuracy. But is that really the case? Well, we tested the Falc on several occasions to ensure that we had a good understanding of this disc. The Falc has a speed of 9, a glide of 6, a turn of minus 2, and a fade of 1. And if you didn't know, the name Falc is Swedish for Falcon. Now the Falc comes in three different plastics, the K1, the K1 Glow, and the K1 Soft. And we tested two Falcs in the K1 that were brand new. Now before we get into any specifics about this disc, we just have to say that Castplast makes hands down the best plastic currently in disc golf. From our experience with the Berg Review and testing other discs like the Cax and now the Falc, we can honestly say that they make the best plastics currently in disc golf, especially the K1. Now when looking at the Falc's profile, it's pretty easy to see where they came up with their numbers. The flight plate is very domey, with its rim nose angle slightly downwards, indicating a disc that should have good glide and good turn. Now the disc feels very comfortable in most players' hands, and that's because it has a rim width of only 19 millimeters. So the average player, the average size hands are gonna enjoy picking up this disc, and they're gonna feel like they can do a little bit more with it. And this is very similar to the Destroyer versus the Wraith video that we did in the past. The Destroyer's rim is just a little bit thicker, maybe a millimeter or two, but it makes a substantial difference on how it feels in your hand. Therefore, in terms of look and feel, this disc definitely inspires confidence when picking it up. From our testing, this disc truly proved to be a very versatile fairway driver that fits the skills and power of a wide range of players. Depending on the power applied and the angle of release, this disc can actually do a lot of different things. So for this flight test breakdown, we're going to show you how this disc flies for every single skill level so that you can make a more informed decision. For beginners, but ones with some natural power, the disc will most likely get you a good amount of distance, but it's still gonna have a decent amount of fade throughout its flight. In our opinion, although it's not necessarily a good beginner disc, if you do have some power, it could be a disc that grows with you and improves its flight over time. Now for the intermediate players, this is where we feel the disc shines the most. If you have some good control of your angles and a decent amount of power, this disc has a good chance of becoming your straightest and farthest flying disc in your bag. At this level, this disc can produce beautiful S-type shots if thrown flat with a moderate amount of speed. And if released on a hyzer angle with a similar speed, the disc will often flip up and even turn slightly to the right. This allows for a pretty straight flight with a good amount of distance. In other words, it's a great hyzer flip disc. The disc can also be used for excellent turnover shots that really hold the line the entire way. From our testing, Releasing the disc with a good amount of power on an Anheuser line will have the disc continuing to drift to the right the entire flight. Which as we know, isn't really a bad thing, especially if you don't have a forehand shot. Now at the advanced to the professional level, this is where we really start to see the use out of this disc change. For instance, throwing the disc on a steep hyzer angle with enough force will get the disc to flip up, turn over, and stay turned over to the right. We saw this a lot when throwing powerful hyzer flip forehands. Sometimes when hyzer flipping, we could get big S type shots that slowly start to fade back, but more often than not, the disc would just stay turned over throughout its entire flight. So therefore, this disc is finicky at higher speeds and on how you're releasing the disc, which not everybody is gonna like. Now, although we never got around to testing rollers, a professional could definitely use it for exactly that, considering how easy this disc would be for them to turn over. So after taking an in-depth look at the Falc and how it would benefit all three skill levels, it's time to conclude. At the beginner level, those with less experience still working on form and snap, this disc could benefit you and become your max distance driver 
if you have enough power. At the intermediate level, players will be able to get nice controlled long distance shots with a nice controlled fade finish. Heiser flips and S shots are definitely possible if the correct amount of power is applied, and if you apply a little bit more, you may be able to get the disc to stay turned over. And lastly, for advanced players, they're gonna love this disc for long glidey tailwind shots, uphill shots, long Anheuser lines, and even rollers. Put this disc in the air with enough power and it will turn over and glide for days. This is especially useful if you don't possess a forehand. But it's important to note that you definitely wanna keep this disc away from headwind shots. It just doesn't possess enough stability to keep consistent flights. Now, of course, if you don't like the Falc or you'd like it to be a little different, other comparable discs are the MVP Pulse, the Discraft Heat, the Prodigy H5, the Infant Disc Sphinx, and the list goes on. And of course, if you're looking to pick up a Falc or any comparable disc, be sure to purchase them at truenorthdiscgolf.com. They're one of the premium disc golf stores of Canada with an excellent in-person and online shopping experience. So even if you live far away, you can definitely find what you're looking for. Thanks as always for watching Justice. You know what to do if you enjoyed your experience. And don't forget to check out some of our other Cast Plus videos like our wonderful Berg review. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.